emigrate to America to chase the great American dream. The first time I've ever been to a Danish restaurant. Can't wait to meet the Danish immigrants. Thank goodness I brought my dictionary. Vorden er du. It's a Danish restaurant. So... A thousand! My God. Dette kort ser nødder ut. Dette kort ser nødder ut. I think of all the pronunciations, that's probably the one I butchered the most. Dude, they gave him the pregnancy uh, dynamic pick. I know that it's like kind of cool in the community to take jabs at EA, but can we just can we just have a round of applause for the fact that EA went out of their way, did a little bit of research, and realized uh, that uh, Yusuf Polson's girlfriend is currently uh, pregnant, or wife, I'm not sure, um, is currently pregnant, and this little uh, thumb-sucking thing he's doing, the ball is actually under his shirt. You actually can't see it, but he did it in honor of his girlfriend who is pregnant with his child. So that is very, very cool. Dette kort ser nødder ut. What's up, Nick boys, and welcome to the 87 rated, maybe the new king of Lip Tig, 87 rated Yusuf Polson, aka one of the FIFA Vikings of FIFA uh, Episodia. Now, 140,000 coins, very, very expensive. That price is surely going to drop. Uh, shouldn't be that much, but there are only two in the market at the time of recording this Episodia. Uh, 87 rated Yusuf Polson got it for a hat trick that he scored versus, not sure who it was, but uh, the first ever hat trick scored by a player for Leipzig's history, and it's only fitting that it is Yusuf Polson because he has been there from, uh, from the beginning. I believe he had 10 goals in the season where they got promoted into the Bundesliga, came all the way back from the, Bundes, uh, the Bundesliga 3, the third league, um, but uh, has been an instrumental, instrumental piece of the puzzle for this uh, for this club. Now, whether or not you agree with their financial, the whole 50 plus one Germany thing, well, that that's a Bundesliga thing, that's, a, that's another discussion, you know, a big company behind a team and that sort of thing. Uh, today, we are strictly going to be focusing on the player, and that is, like I said, 87 rated Yusuf Poulsen. Now, you guys got to let me know if you guys if you guys are sick and tired of the total in-game stats. I think it's probably one of the more fun things in FIFA to, like, look at positions in a league and then see how the total in-game stats vary. In terms of strikers or center forwards in the Bundesliga, Liga, Yusuf Poulsen, this 87 rated card comes in fourth, just behind that flashback Alexander Esvine, Robert Lewandowski, and then the flashback Mario Götze. So he is in good company in terms of total in-game stats. I almost feel like I need to come out with a merch, uh, a merch shirt. You know how there's like Got Milk? This one would say Got Tigs, like Got Total In-Game Stats, T-I-G-S. Like I said, first player to ever score a hat-trick for Leipzig, uh, scored 10 goals in their promotion season, and then 46 total in-game stats upgrade from his 86, but don't let that fool you, he does get some really, really nice upgrades. Uh, goes from 86 pace to 88, and then plus three in every shooting category, and then plus two in every dribbling category, including uh, agility, which actually goes up plus three up to 91. So I'm pretty sure I said that. No, 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 what was it? Uh, reaction, sorry, goes up plus three, and then the rest of the uh, dribbling stats go up plus two. We've gone ahead and we've slapped the anchor chem style on him, which is a little bit unorthodox. We're increasing his pace and then defending stats, but the only reason we're using the anchor is to boost that heading accuracy up to 99 and then also get that jumping up to 99 and get the uh, get the strength up to 89 and then max out his aggression. So with the anchor, we get 99 heading accuracy, 99 aggression, and then 99 jumping. How that's going to equate into a player in game that's already 6'4", that already has high high, the only weak thing, sorry, the, yeah, the only weak part of his card in terms of uh, skilling is the fact that he has three-star skill moves and then three-star weak foot, but even a three-star weak foot, not that bad. Again, 88 pace, 88 physical. That uh, that duo combo of pace and physical looks really, really, really spicy. The only thing that might lead someone not to do this card is the fact that he's got 79 composure, but I would remind you guys that Timo Werner's second highest rated card, I believe is 89 rated, uh, has the exact same composure as well, 79, and he just bangs in goals every which way. So we are going to see if this card might be the Timo Werner killer, but more realistically, this is more like the Anton, uh, the Ante Rebic killer. 87 rated goes for about 100,000 coins as well. Also, three star, three star has height, not not as much as Yusuf Polson. Yusuf Polson has three inches on on Ante Rebic. That's what she said. Uh, but we are going to see if this might just be one of the new best strikers in the Bundesliga. If you guys are enjoying the player featurettes, the player reviews, drop a cheeky like on the video. Uh, I'm thinking tomorrow could be the day we do a double upload, foot champs rewards, and then whatever we might get then, uh, or an epi of um, or a draft. So, so like a Zweda Glory foot champs rewards, and then a draft in the afternoon afternoon or something exciting like that. If you guys do want to see that, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But like I said, uh, heading is one of his strong suits, so we're going to surround him with some talent that can get those crosses in and frig... Frig. <laughs> Let me get a sip of my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. We're going into match number one, and of course, 
If we're rolling with a FIFA Viking, we've got to have the FIFA Viking kit. Uh, and let's see what we're coming up against in match number one. Again, like I said, I'm just going to reiterate. I know it's just a plus one. Wow, dude, is this really... Oh, I mean, I guess it's not the craziest squad I've ever seen, but... Dumfries. I, I don't come up against that Dumfries often, but he scares me. He's a card that legitimately scares me. He's got prime icon moments, Clivert. Prime icon moments, Roberto Baggio, dude. He's got the green headband. He's got the half camo head. Let's see if he's an absolute lamb. What's up, guys? It's the boss here. More Tobias than Aryan Robin, am I right? That is what you want. Majestic. That's what you're looking for from the use of Paulson. I saw that the, the moment it touched Ribery's foot. Look at that. We're doing a dead fish. With the FIFA Viking, you know we're going to do a dead fish. Congratulations, Yusuf Paulson and your wife on having a baby, dude. You just gave me a little baby. I don't know what that means, bro. But Yusuf Paulson, look at that. Beautiful tap, uh, beautiful tap and little finish, man. I was surprised. Why didn't he finish that with his head? Honestly, if you use his card in game, the fact that he's 6'4 and moves like he does, that's the differentiator. That, that, that's, that's the big selling point on his card. Nico. Nico and Piontek. By the way, yo, no, not like, not like that, dude. I was just about to, I was just about to give some dabs to, to Christoph Piontek. Uh, and then Roberto Baggio just bangs me, just bangs me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's me pulling a guy out of position. I don't think so. That's what you get for trying to trip it out, dude. That is what you get for trying to trip it out. That should have been an easy goal. What, what, I wonder if he was... I wonder if he was nervous about Piontek's ability to finish that. That's why he didn't take it. I think what we're going to do, it's playing well. It's playing all right. But there's just something about the 4-3-2-1 that's a little bit off-putting. I don't know what it is. Like, the wingers are playing fine. Is it too leaky? I don't know why it would be any more leaky than the 4-1-2-1-2. That's just spaced out a little bit differently. Huh. I, I don't know. But there's just something about the 4-3-2-1 that I don't exactly love. What? All right, we're switching formation. What is my defender doing, dude? Frog! <laughs> Come on, Yusuf! Frog Ribery! Sometimes you gotta rely on Frank Ribery, dude. Sometimes you gotta rely on the other boys to step up. Ribery, he missed that one chance, hit the uh, hit the crossbar. I think it was in between the crossbar and the right post. Frank Ribery, you get him in that position. He's not missing that, dude. The five star skiller. It's got. He only has 69 stamina, but you know what? Damn it. Come on, Shay Daddy. She the whore, dude. Game of Thrones. Come on. Second goal, Yusuf Paulson. Beautiful build-up play. I saw it opening up on the right side. A, B, C, D, E, F, C. That's a great, dude. He's got a, he's got a chicken as his badge. I absolutely love him, dude. You, you absolute lad. Bitcoin's over 5,000? I would just like to remind you that he spent probably upwards of 1.3, 1.4 million coins to complete that card. Or he bought him outright. Um, that's a miss. Oh, that would have been it. When I saw that Nico Schultz was trying to catch up with Latan and was trying to body him off, I, I knew it was already done. I knew it was over. 
You know, we had chances. That's the only disappointing part is we actually had some really, really de decent chances. We brought it back level. We were level for most of the match. We get two goals with Yusuf Poulsen. Uh, we get an assist from Goretzka, Robin, and then Frank Ribéry, and then get a goal with Frank Ribéry as well. Ribs gets the man of the match, and let's take a look at the stats. 11 shots. I mean, that was... That was dead even. I, I didn't think it was that I didn't think it was that square, to be honest with you. But uh, a very, very even match in match number one. Division three, a really, really good opponent. Hats off to you, A B C D E F C. 150,000 coins. Boys, we bought him for 140. Is there a possibility we can buy him at a profit? If we sold him right now at that price, we would make a profit of <laughs> we'd make a profit of 2,500 coins. Dyke, come on! Inside the box, finishing. Yusuf Poulsen, that's what he's got. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's up to three goals in two matches played. Very, very strong showing right there. Showed the, the pace first there. 6-4 with 87 agility. To put that in perspective, he's got, he's got, a, he's got, fla that's flashback Ebra level. Ebra doesn't even have that. Ebra's got 85. And this guy's 6-4 with 87. Yusuf Paulson. Are you Robin? Majestic. Let's go. Yusuf Paulson 2 0. Yellow time finishing. He tapped it off the shoulder, I think. And then he sent it. He couldn't get it done on the first touch, but the second touch was clinical as hell. Robin making that blistering cut in as the uh, as the forward as the forward moving cam. And then Petercek <laughs> literally got out of the way of that shot. Why did Petercek dive out of the way of the shot? Dude, it's a video game. They don't actually feel pain. Or do they? Even at striker, Yusuf Poulsen, with the 93 stamina. He's got one less stamina than 93 Root Hullet. But let's just, let's just put it that way. There you have it, boys. The Yusuf Poulsen, a.k.a. The, uh, the FIFA Viking. Get another two-goal performance from Yusuf Poulsen. Gets himself made of the match. So four goals in two matches played. 87 Yusuf Poulsen's extinct. If I, I should be able to insta-sell him, which means I would make 2,500 coins profit. We've listed our Yusuf Poulsen. I am going to, and I know 150,000 coins isn't cheap. I expect that price to come down. But for a tradable... Uh, player with these stats. Th these are stats worthy of 150,000 coins. Stamina, uh, incredible strength, 99 strength, 99 uh, jumping, 99 he heading accuracy with the anchor chem style, plenty of pace, plenty of finishing, and then the 79 composure is not something I felt whatsoever. So I'm going to give him a very, very confident thumbs up. If you guys use him, let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter with some of the squads that you build. Obviously, you can put together a very sick Danish side. I'm trying to think like player of the month. Uh, sorry, sorry, League SBC Kasper Dolberg, as well as others, 86 uh, uh, League SBC uh, Thomas Delaney, um, can put together a very nice Danish side or a very, very tasty Bundesliga side, as we have done in this epi. But like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the player reviews. Again, I want to mix things up with a draft and then maybe some pack openings and some, uh, some, some foot champs rewards for tomorrow's epi. If you guys did enjoy the epi, if this has helped you figure out whether or not maybe you want to try an 87 use of Poulsen, uh, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys and again thank you for the support but I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day